So it's, it's really interesting uh, and fascinating about this technology. So as you mentioned, 84% of our clients are actually actively working with it and trying to figure out how it could be useful. But what's fascinating is that a technology that's supposed to uh, be trustless and make trust a non-issue is actually uh, failing to sort of hit the prime time because of some real issues around trust. Um, and when we look at what, you know, what are those issues, it's not really about the technology itself. Uh, it's about other things. For example, uh, corporates are really concerned about regulatory uncertainty in this space. They're worried that there could be a backlash from regulators or that there could be new rules that will make it difficult to comply. Um, they're also worried about who, they're, who are the participants in these networks that they're establishing. Who do I need to play with? Um, who am I implementing blockchain networks with? So uh, trying to figure out, you know, what's the business problem that I'm trying to solve? Who do I need to help me solve that problem? These are sort of bigger issues, and these, this is where some of this trust uh, is really sort of breaking down. I guess part of it, it probably has to do just with the, the headlines that circulate about cryptocurrency, some of the ploys that you've seen where people throw blockchain or cryptocurrency into the name of their stock just to try and capitalize on these things. How do you, how do you break down all of this headline hype and all of this um, lottery ticket mentality and, and set that aside from what can really happen with blockchain? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's really, really helpful to distinguish, you know, what is a cryptocurrency implementation of a blockchain like the Bitcoin example. And uh, to your point, there's been a lot of uh, negative news and reputational issues sort of around that. Um, and then what we're talking about here, which is really uh, distributed ledger technology, it's the, the idea that uh, corporates will get together in a permissioned private network where what they're trying to do is really take cost out um, or build new marketplaces to exchange digital assets. So I think it is helpful to make those distinctions. Uh, we're talking about, you know, heavily regulated industries in many cases like financial services and again we're talking about participants coming together they're really trying to do two things um, they're trying to build utility functions uh, to remove some of the back office processing and other things and make that more efficient and the technology is actually proven to be really good at doing that um, and the second thing that they're doing of course is participating in this token economy now these tokens these digital assets they're coming to the market and the infrastructure that's being built around them it, again a lot of times we're talking about uh, registered securities uh, compliant uh, uh, products that are being brought to the market. We're not talking about, uh, you know, cryptocurrencies necessarily. I would imagine that it's probably tough in this job market to try and find people who know what they're talking about, employees you can hire into this arena. Uh, it, it's hard to find anybody with high tech skills in some of these areas. But I also hear that colleges are doing a lot to try and teach this right now. What, what is the supply demand when it comes to employees who actually are proficient in this stuff and who can help you on your way? Yeah, no, that's a great point. And we're actually actively also working with a lot of academic institutions. They're struggling also to keep up and, and keep the curriculum uh, current. Um, and I think that's right. I think corporates are really looking at what is the work, workforce impact of all of this emerging technology, not just blockchain, um, but really trying to think about how do I build a more agile uh, organization? How do I, what sort of people do I need to employ that sort of embody this sort of, you know, joining creative skills with technical skills and being able to think about business process and then think about how the technology can come in to support that. And because the technology is moving so quickly, uh, you know, it's really, it's, it's difficult to keep up. And again, uh, it is a different type of person that, that these corporates do need to hire.